Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to our morning devotion with HEDM. My name is Brother David, and today I'm going to just give you a little quick exaltation on the topic This is the day the Lord has made. Okay, um, the scripture that it's going to be coming from is simply from the topic itself, and it's Psalms 118, verse 24, and that says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. All right, before I get into the exhortation, I will just give us a morning prayer, you know, just get us into the right mind. Heavenly Father, I want to first thank you for bringing us here. It's another um, morning, another afternoon, another night, Father, whatever opportunity we were able to. Um, tune in on the platform. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be able, allow us to pl- tune in on the platform. Blessed Lord, thank you for the ears that are continuously tuning in, Lord. And re- I'm hoping to re- they're receiving something, and that's why they we are returning, Lord. I want to thank you for the platform and the um, obedience from the from the elder, Father Lord, that allow this platform to be able to have a ministry online that can be able to just deliver your word and um just encourage the people that's out there that can't come into the physical sanctuary father i want to thank you for um, another devotion actually lord that somebody be able to gain something and be able to share with someone else in your name i pray amen so again let's get into it the topic is this is the day that the lord has made um, top the scripture that I'm using is coming from Psalms 118, verse 24. And again, I'll read: "This is the day which the Lord has made; we will rejoice and be glad in it." So, in reading this, uh, or getting the topic, because we have to get our own scripture, but in getting the topic, um, and understanding this is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, I want you to understand that the um, topic itself or the essence of the topic is not in, um, like I say, I guess the physical day. The Lord did make the physical day, but I don't think it was like honing in on the physical day itself. Yes, the Lord did make all days, but I think the beauty of the day it's coming from um, not that it's a new day, but that we are being made new, if you get what I mean. Um, not in the physical day itself, but that as people, as an individual, as a person, as a group, as a church, we are being made new. Um, and also the glory of the day is not that it, it um, that it's changing or the glory that's coming from the day. Or that is a new day. The glory of the day is that it's not it's not coming from that, but it's the fact that we are able to be changed. So that's what I want you to get. It's not a physical thing, um, but I want you to understand the beauty that the Lord has made the day. Um, it's not that um, it's a new day, but that um, we are being made new. We are given a chance for newness. We are given a chance for repentance. We are given a chance to be to to right our wrongs. Um, and the glorification behind that is that God is taking the time out to give us the opportunity to be changed, to stand apart, to um, right our wrongs, like I mentioned. Um, to be able to look back at where he was and say, okay, yes, this is what I was or, and this is how I was yesterday, but today is a new day. And the Lord has made um, a way for me to now right my wrongs, um, to repent, to look at myself and say, okay, Yesterday was yesterday. What am I going to do today? Now that I have a new day and that the Lord controls the day, um, am I going to take the opportunity He's given me and and make myself better? Um, and in that, that's what you should be praising. 
But that's what you should be happy about. That should be something you should be thankful for. Um, the Lord, this is the day that the Lord has made. Um, so, despite what people may say, oh, it's too late, it's too late. They are not in control. Get that out. I want to encourage you to understand that they are not in control of your destiny. Your yesterday can be made right today because this is the day that the Lord has made. He is in full control of what happens today and tomorrow and the day after that because he is God and he's God all by himself. So I want to encourage you to understand that it's not too late. Um, whatever wrong you did, however you felt yesterday, whatever bad you said about the other person the day before, whatever bad somebody said about you that made you feel like I'm um, less than, forget about that. Because today is what the Lord has made. Um, any decisions you have made that may be wrong or somebody said about you that didn't was, was a lie, it's all right. It's all right because the Lord has made a way for you to um be renewed your mind your body your spirit be encouraged with that hallelujah be encouraged by that um this is the day that the lord has made forget what happened yesterday or forget whoever think they in a position to make their own days forget about those people because god is the one who has the last day in your days. Hallelujah. Be encouraged that um, your beautiful day set aside for you um, is not a physical day, but a day for you to be a brand new you. Um, he's given you the opportunity, the opportunity to be a brand new you. And your glory should be in that. That he is not changing just the day. But he is making a way for you to change as well. Um, I love you. Um, I'm going to leave you with my signature. Give up when God gives up. But the catch to that is God will never give up. Um, be encouraged for your tomorrow. Be encouraged for your today. Your yesterday was yesterday. Do not live or get stuck in your yesterday because this is the day that the Lord has made. Um, tune in the next day for the next person, the next morning. Um, be encouraged. Infect somebody with the love of God um, and be a blessing. We love you. We love you. We love you.